What is up? Turtle here, coming at you with another Pokemon video. Uh, today we actually have, once again, Hidden Fates, the best set in modern Pokemon TCG history. And we got the Premium Powers Collection. Uh, only has seven packs, but the promo game is the best it comes with. We got two gold cards and a shiny Rayquaza. And as you can see, we have kind of our old setup again. Um, doing this video this way just because, uh, yeah, my hair's been out of control. Haven't gotten a cut in I don't know how long live across the street from a barber but obviously those are closed uh so i figured i'd do this video to because tomorrow we'll let uh amy will try to let her cut it she has no experience cutting hair and uh we can kind of compare and trash actually if you don't see my face for a while it's probably because it didn't turn out that well but we'll see all right let's get into this box all right so we did get everything open and get these sweet promos out uh this product i actually came full circle where Initially, I thought this product was just okay, and the subpar of the compared to the Super Premium, which had 15 packs and the same promos, in addition to that awesome Rayquaza statue. And that one MSRP'd for 100, where this one MSRP's for 50. But then I kind of thought about it, and you know, yeah, this one has less packs, but the fact that you still get all the same promos. And the statue thing is really cool, but after like the first one, maybe two, then, you know, what are you going to do with them? Uh, not too unlike these promo cards, although Shiny Rayquaza is pretty nice. And uh, one weird thing is the amount of glue they use. So these guys are permanently conjoined. I've got this one apart, but uh, they have enough glue on this where it actually are opened a little bit when I try to get it out of the box. Maybe we'll have to leave those like that. I don't want to damage anything, but we have seven packs total. And I just want to say happy Easter to you all. Uh, you know, with all the social distancing going on, hope you can still, if you do celebrate Easter, still have some kind of fun. Uh, this time we, Amy and I, we uh, colored these little bunny things and I gave mine a Pikachu ears. So I'll put this in the background and let's get into these packs. We'll start with these uh, conjoined ones. Let's see if we can even open it. But yeah, hope everyone's doing well. And hopefully we get some good pulls to go with these awesome promo cards with our first pack. Let's do this. Got Scyther, Magmar, Charmeleon, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, a Cleaf Fairy, Coughing, Misty's Water Command, and just a Graveler for the first one. So nothing too exciting there. It's kind of nice doing the old view again. side as you say we do have a bit of a different background usually I'm on the other side of the counter but uh, it's kind of daytime so there's too much Sun and the face cam ends up getting like uh, too much light but all right pack number two as always guys we're going for 50% hit ratio so out of seven packs hoping for at least uh, three or four hits but uh, yeah not off to a great start Pull-wise for these products, I honestly don't remember, but I don't recall it being too bad. Uh, but we've been doing great on those. We've been opening a bunch of the great and Ultra Ball collections and very happy with the pull rates. Haven't gotten anything crazy like a Charizard or too many gold cards, but um, hey, hopefully I'll change right here. Erica's Hospitality and all right, there we go. A shiny GX in Stakataka. Stakataka is a very strange Pokemon. Um, but I do like this card. Has an interesting ability. Uh, fortunately, didn't amount to much as far as competitive, but I do like the idea of just having a bunch of them to stack that effect. Maybe you could uh, put, use a full metal wall GX attack as well. And uh, doing no damage. All right, so one hit in the bag. Let's get a few more. Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Charmander, then we got a Arbuck, not doing so hot on the rare slot. We did get a reverse energy. Take it. Okay, only three packs. Going from uh, typically 10 to seven is, you know, significant, but uh, I think we can still get there. And at this point, you know, Rebel Clash is actually pretty close. Uh, given everything that's going on, I wonder if the popularity or more important like the amount of 
Rebel Clash that will be open will be significantly less than it normally would have been just because there's no events to go to. And we did get a, another shiny in Celesteel and it is the very glossy version. Let's see if we can... Eh, that doesn't really show it. But uh, I do like the glo or the textured version over the glossy. This is the texture I didn't spoke. And we got two shinies. Alright, let's get at least one more hit. Getting to four would be awesome. But yeah, obviously we're going to be opening some Rebel Clash. And I'm curious how things will hold up from that set on the secondary market, kind of like once events start. And how like this will affect the supply on the secondary market. If you have any thoughts about that, let me know in a comment down below. Uh, just something I've been thinking about, but can't really make any conclusions at this point or very educated guesses. Ooh, full art Guzma. We finally got a, a supporter. It's been quite a while, and this is definitely... The between this and Cynthia, I think I prefer Cynthia, but Guzma is definitely the one that'll see more play in Expanded. And this Guzma art compared to the Burning Shadows one is definitely better. So very happy with that, and pretty nice, uh, pretty nice quality, and a Starmie GX as well. So there we go, four hits out of seven packs. So another successful Hidden Fates opening, and we still got one more pack to go. All right, this is the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? But anyway, guys, I hope everyone has a good holiday, especially if you celebrate. And uh, if you do anything fun Pokemon related, let us know in a comment down below. But uh, all right, this is it. We got Missy's Water Command. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Oof, wait a minute. This is the exact same card we got in the first pack. <laughs> I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.